Wednesday, January 25th, 1978. It seemed like a normal winter day. Weather forecasts sounded typical for that day. Rain tonight, possibly mixed with snow at times. Windy and cold for Thursday with snow flurries. These predictions were far from accurate, and no one could have foreseen what came next. The next morning, on Thursday, January 26th, 1978, people all over the state awoke to what has been suitably named the storm of the century. Overnight, a monstrous-sized storm had slammed the state and brought with it hurricane-strength winds and snowfall accumulations of over a foot in many areas. The worst winter storm in Ohio history, the blizzard of 1978, had officially struck the area, and it continued to rage on for the next several days, closing schools and businesses trapping people in their homes and making travel impossible. Um, during the blizzard, we tried to keep my kids warm by doing some activities, playing games, doing a little hopscotch, played a little music to entertain them and keep them busy from, keep them warm because we had no heat. Um, tried to do a little cooking with a candle in a can with a pan on top to warm some meat up things of that nature we did. Throughout the blizzard, more than 5,000 members of the Ohio National Guard worked around the clock by helping to clear roadways, assisting electric and utility crews, and rescuing people who were lost or stranded. Volunteers with snowmobiles reached out to neighbors and their communities by helping to transport doctors and nurses, as well as supplies to those in need. Atmospheric pressure during the blizzard plummeted to 28.28 inches, which is the lowest ever to be recorded in Ohio. The storm further intensified as bitterly cold air swept across much of the state, with winds gusting up to 100 miles per hour. These conditions, combined with heavy amounts of snowfall and drifting, caused extreme, life-threatening conditions throughout the area. By the time the blizzard was through, 70 people had lost their lives making the blizzard of 1978 one of the deadliest winter storms in Ohio history. Our children were picked up by snowmobile a day after the blizzard hit to get them to a neighbor's house where they had heat and warmth. Um, my husband was trying to get over to the other place at the time. Uh, he walked around the road and followed the light lines to get to the other place. And uh, we were out of heat for probably five or six days, possibly. It took several days after the blizzard had struck for life to return back to normal. President Carter had declared a federal disaster in Ohio on Thursday the 26th, and many schools and businesses did not reopen again until later the next week. Radio stations suspended their normal broadcast programs in order to provide storm information and to serve as one of the only communication links during the worst days of the blizzard. It took Ohio residents several days to dig out as stories of survival began to emerge. Many areas were left without heat and electricity for days, and property damages from the strong winds and heavy snowdrifts added to the severe blizzard situation. People that have survived the storm say that they have never again seen anything that has even compared to the harsh conditions of that in 78. The storm had left its mark on everyone. Approximately three weeks after the storm, a television special simply titled Blizzard aired. The program stated, a storm of unprecedented magnitude, that is what the National Weather Service terms the blizzard, which whipped Ohio last month. What occurred on January 26, 1978, in Ohio was not a blizzard. What did occur was even rarer and even more dangerous, a severe blizzard, the worst of winter storms. The blizzard of 1978 was in fact the worst winter storm Ohio has ever seen.